So Kim Lewis, who was in her late 30s, was, was single and had no children. She wasn't married, so she thought she was getting old. She had an interview that was shown on singleparentadoption.com, and it was in-depth, and you could see in her eyes that um, that she was going through what she was going through. She had heartache, and she endured, she endured a lot trying to adopt as a single woman at her age. Um, she had trouble adopting on her own in the United States um, because a lot of agencies, um, they don't really support single-parent adoption here. Um, so when she thought about adopting a foreign, a foreign child, um, they, a lot of people said it was a good idea because she, she would have better luck. So in Vietnam, that's where she ended up being successful. Um, in Vietnam, she told listeners that, like in China, um, the baby girls, um, they were usually abandoned, and it was because of the one-child policy, and they were placed in orphanages along with hundreds of baby girls. Um, so, oddly enough, Kim, she decided on having a, adopting a girl in the first place, so her chances were really high. After many months of waiting for her new adopted child, Kim tells the singleparentadoption.com that her, night, her life was now complete. Um, so, making single parent options accepted in all states and among others is what I'm pointing at. And um, in many conservative states, um, it's legalized. Um, and some states, it's not. Like a few, there's not many um, legal legalizations just, just because they, they feel that it's not right that a child should have two parents. Um, and since I do have a family member who's currently trying to adopt and she's not married, um, I've been really interested in trying to figure out um, what she could do here in the United States. And if you um, don't have children already, I'm assuming that most of us in here want to have a family someday. And, um, and I know things do happen in life that might not you might not expect, so it's always good to be open-minded about different things and unexpected things. So today I'll discuss how adopting for some men and women is the only option for having children, how divorce is on the rise, so many children are already living in a single parent home, and how individuals feel the desire to nurture and to provide for a family even if they're unmarried, even if they're single. So first let me explain to you how adopting for men and women is uh, basically the only option. Uh, women and men, they both could have infertility issues. Um, they could either be born with it or something could happen in their lives, uh, they get injured or whatnot. And just because these individuals have these problems should not mean that they would not be able to have a family that they want to dream of. So adopting would be their only option. And adopting for me should not be based on if the individual is married or unmarried. Um, it should be concerned with a stable environment, a strong mental state, and if the individual is even capable of bearing a child. Um, in 2006, the, well, the Child Welfare Information Gateway Center um, said that in 2004 and in 2005, um, about one, 127,000 children were adopted in the United States. Um, and I feel like those numbers are the way they are now, and they have remained, they remain really consistent. Um, a single, if a single parent adoption would break through um, in every single state, then the numbers could be even larger if there was more information on it. So some, and like I said before, some conservative states, they really don't um, look at it as a good thing, so that's why women do not pursue it. And next, um, although infertility and life problems, they're not the only reason um, individuals seek adoption. They, they look to adopt because for many, it's a personal want or need to start a family within themselves. And it seems like everyone these days, they're trying to, um, they're trying to graduate college faster and get their careers faster, but it's taking a lot longer than what we expect. Um, and the, nat the National Adoption Clearing House states that because so many are determined to start their new careers, they put having a family on hold for years. Um, and now many do, after their careers are set, they feel the need to raise and love a child and have a family of their own. Uh, and the desire to nurture and to share a life uh, with family is a strong universal need that is felt by a large number of people. 
Um, it's a feeling that is not only felt by a married couple, or it, it's felt by a single a single person. And it um and when they don't have a family, they often find life to be very incomplete. A woman on library.com said that um, I had a single job and I could give a child many benefits. And I had the love that needed to be given and a need to be needed. I wanted a purpose to my life other than my job and my cat. So basically before she was before she adopted, she only had her job to, you know, talk about to people and her cat. Uh, and because women they do pursue careers before anything else nowadays, um, they put off marriage, as I said, and children until um, until they reach their thirties and without a husband. So um, they have a really compelling desire to have a kid. Um, and the information center of adoption says that adoption um, they become a more practical option for single women um, because many women feel having a child out of wedlock um, is not right for them. So they do feel that adoption would be fine. Um, but should someone be punished just to just because they want to make sure that they have a stable life and environment for themselves and possibly a child to live in? Um, I don't think so. So lastly, divorce is very much on the rise, as probably all of us know. know and um, many children are living in a single parent household in general right now. And many people feel that it's wrong to have um, raise a child by a single parent. But when we look around, um, maybe your friends in society, um, most children with a single parent, they're doing, they're doing just fine. They're, they're doing as fine as somebody with two parents. Um, a New York Times article recently reported that more than half of the nation's 9.8 million African American children under 18, and nearly one third of the 7 million Hispanic children, and one fifth of the nation's 51.1 million Caucasian children they're living right now with a single parent. And while women are the primary caregivers for most of these children, and women are in the lives of their children more than men, um, there are one billion single fathers who are raising their kids on their own right now. So luckily with so many living in these types of home environments, um, some adoption agencies around the world, not many, um, they have been more willing to consider, um, consider unmarried women and men as potential adopters. Um, so single parent adoption is a, a wonderful thing in my eyes. Um, it helps satisfy the needs of both parent and the child. Each adopter, they have their own reasons for adopting. Um, they're all different. And for some, it's because um, they cannot have children of their own, naturally. And while for others, it's because they have not found the right person to have children with. Um, many of the homes in society today, like I said, are made of uh, single parents. And as I stated before, those children, they grow up to be as successful and as knowledgeable as children who come from homes with the two parents raising them. So with this, I hope that you gain a new positive outlook on single parent adoption and hope that you would consider it as a good thing in today's society. So Angela, what did you think? Um, I thought she had a good story um, for her and she had a clear preview of the topic. Um, I thought it was interesting. She had a good story for her and she was down on her note card for a little bit, um, a lot. And then she had a good conclusion and overall I thought the conclusion was good.